Hi everyone, I'm Yasya Chadi, Product Manager with Tumble Forensics. In this short tutorial video, we're going to take a look at how to import an author photo in your reveal diagramming software. So let's get to it right away. To begin, import your capture file that contains your GNSS, Total Station, or X7 scan annotations measurement data. Click on the measurements tab and import data log button. The measurement import wizard will now open where you can select Trimble Forensics Capture and browse to your file. Once Reveal has read the file, you will be presented with a few options on what to import as part of this capture file. In this case, we're going to import everything except the grid. Click Next to proceed. On this window, we're going to rename the file just so that it makes it easier for us when we build our scene. On this window here, you have a several options on how you want your measurement log to display where you can control the colors or even the size. Finally, on the last step, you will be asked where to import that measurement log. For now, we'll leave it at the scene origin at 000. When presented with the elevation adjustment, you can choose to either take no action or lower the ground plane. Finally, all your selected options that you have selected to import as part of your capture files will be visible on your scene canvas. Now the next step to get an auto photo or working LAS point cloud from your UAV is to export ground control points from your capture file. To do so, select your measurements file from the layer manager on the right hand side, go to actions tab and click on the export ground control points button. On the export ground control points window, you'll be presented with a couple of options. If your capture contains GNSS measurement data, your export tab will be by default GNSS. Additionally, Reveal only shows points that were marked by the capture field software as control points. If you wish to include or exclude some of those points during this export, you can check or uncheck the boxes on the left hand side. On this window, you are exporting the ground control points in a CSV format to pass into your UAV processing software such as PIX4D. Additionally, you can also export a calibration file that's specific to the PIX4D software. One of the key advantages of using this calibration file in this workflow is once you have your LAS and your auto photo processed into the PIX4D software, when you come back into Reveal and import those files, they will automatically line up without you having to do any additional works or positioning. On the other hand, if you're using an optical instrument such as a mechanical or robotic total station or even the Trimble X7 scanner, your export type will be by default local grid. Now you may have to check the box to include points that are tagged as ground control points. Now in this window you will notice that you don't have the calibration file and you only have the ground control file as a CSV to export in order to pass into your UAV processing software. Once you're done, click the export button to your desired location and Reveal will tell you when the export is complete. At this point, you should be able to do your processing using those exported files in your point cloud processing software and if you're using PIX4D, use that calibration file in order to calibrate your project so everything matches properly. If you want additional details on how to export your ground control points from either GNSS or optical instruments for PIX4D, please check out our how-to guide on the forensics.trimble.com website. Once you have your ortho photo and LAS point cloud from your UAV processing software, you may now bring them into Reveal. To do so, click on the Measurements tab and the Import Auto Photo button. Browse to the file and click Open. Now at this point, Reveal will detect the file information and present you with the appropriate options. The first option is Image Coordinates equals Scene Coordinates. This would be applicable when you're following this workflow and using the Ground Control Points file as well as the Calibration file for PIX4D in order to match your PIX4D project to your Reveal Scene project. When using this option, everything will line up automatically for you without you having to do any additional positioning. The second option is Place Image at Scene Origin. You would use this option when your UAV project has been processed in large UTM coordinates or if you have not followed this workflow. At the end of this uh, import wizard, there's an option to also allow you to manually position your author photos so they line up with your already existing data in your reveal scene. You may have to select that option in order to manually position your photo. 
Finally, the third option is to set orientation relative to an already existing autophoto in your scene. This would be applicable, for example, if you have to go out on the scene on the same day or second day to collect additional evidence data and you want to position it relative to an already existing autophoto in your scene, Reveal will do that automatically for you, provided both files share common GCPs. Once the right option is selected, click Start Import to begin the import process. In this example, we have used the appropriate workflow and everything will line up automatically with the existing measurement data points that we already have in the scene. If one or more points are detected to be above or below your orthophoto, you'll be presented with the elevation adjustment window. If your orthophoto was obtained somewhere else or if it was processed in large UTM coordinates, Reveal gives you the option to translate those large coordinates into something smaller so it can display at the scene origin. You will have to also manually position your ortho photo. Now remember, in the import wizard, you have a checkbox to also choose to do an additional manual positioning. This option is also available after the fact. All you have to do is click on the ortho photo in the layer manager on the right and go to the actions tab and click on the position photo button. Reveal will require a minimum of three matches from the photo and the scene in order to calculate a proper transformation. After a minimum of three matches is picked, Reveal will calculate a solution. If the average error of the U3 matches are acceptable, click Apply to finish this wizard. If not, you can add more matches in order to come to a proper solution. Additionally, if you would also like to import your LAS point cloud from your UAV, you can do so by clicking the Measurements tab and Import Point Cloud button. Select your LAS point cloud format and browse to the file. In this example, since we have used the proper calibration, we will leave the first option where cloud coordinates equals scene coordinates. We'll leave that checked so that everything lines up automatically for us. At this point, you're ready for diagramming.